Hi, it's Jeffrey Cohen, Chicago Quantum President. Um, I've got Bloomberg on. In five minutes, we're going to have the Fed announce their decision. I'm pretty excited about that. And I just want to talk about how the market's doing right now from a trader's perspective because it's not really making much sense. So I'm actually, I think you might be able to hear what's in my ears. I'm not sure but awaiting Fed decision. We look at the market right now for one day. The, the Russell's up half a point, the S&P's up 0.2, Nasdaq's up 0.1. The CBOE VIX, the volatility index, is at 1396. The data that we show for that is 1399, 1386. These are delayed prices. And so, sure, we've got a... Uh, a rising VIX, which is negative, the US dollar. You can see the euro at a buck twenty-seven twenty-nine. Um, dollars weaker. So and then I'm looking at interest rates and the 10 year was at 436. It's now 432. So I'm not sure why. The, uh, the 10 year is is down. The only thing I can think of is the Fed's gonna be hawkish. They're gonna be aggressive, right? And so, but they're not gonna raise interest rates. So what that means is interest rates don't go up right away. If they talk it real hard, the, the long, the notes and the bonds are gonna go down. I'm sorry, the, the yields are gonna go down, the prices are gonna go up. Um, you can see the euro is actually moving in the wrong direction. And um, here we are. When we look at how the markets did before, this is what I find interesting. Markets opened higher. I don't know what people are thinking. It's the Fed day, but they're really flat. We are within five points of a 4,500 index. And, um, but now take a look at what's moving. So that, again, before the Fed, the Fed right here, you know, Federal Reserve Gov, monetary policy, FOMC calendars, it's gonna show up right here, what they're doing. But I'm fascinated that the stocks that are really moving, oil and gas are lower, big cap names, new economy names, Microsoft, Nvidia, Apple, Berkshire Hathaway, very liquid, Amazon, Tesla, Google, Meta, Lilly, Walmart, and what we're seeing and ExxonMobil, Home Depot, Berkshire, is we're seeing the large cap stocks are down. People are exiting the large caps. Let's look at large cap over 10 billion. Most of the big circles are down with the exception of Tesla, which we saw, and United Healthcare, which is normally a um, uh, it doesn't move much when the markets, you know, move in. It's a safety stock. So safety stocks up. IBM, safety, United Healthcare, AT and T. No one thinks of them as growth stocks. Newmont Mining, but the growth stocks are dropping hard, dropping hard. And so what that tells me is, the market it may be considering a rate increase here, and the market may be thinking recession. So, I have nothing else really to talk to you about. Um, so I'm gonna talk about maybe one or two other things I was looking at. This is Wall Street Journal Markets, bond benchmarks. I am surprised at how the, the interest rates overall, when you look down this chart, these are bond indices, so they're blends. 5%, Right, so if you're a US agency, mortgage-backed securities, 5.3%. Ginny Mays, almost six. US corporates, about 6%. High yield, about 8.5%. Another index, almost 9% on the high yield, investment grade at 6%. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, if you're an investment grade US corporate, you're a solid company with profit and not a lot of leverage, 
you're still paying six points. You're still paying six points on money. If you're a high yield company, you're paying eight and a half to nine. If you're really in the tank and you're triple C rated, you're paying 13.6. And so I, I haven't seen that continued acceleration, right? I'm waiting. High yield 100, which are highly liquid high yields, 8.2. So 8.2, 8.6, 8.9 for the high yield. I would watch out for companies that are like high yield companies. Still looking. We got it. So what's the statement? Maintain the interest rate. Target rate did not change. We still have um, the same. We still have the same quantitative tightening. So, nope, nothing changed. Nothing changed. They held. Maintain the target range. Okay. No change. There you go. Nothing changed. So I was thinking maybe something would change, but it didn't. So now, what's happening in the stock market? I hear what um, Bloomberg is telling me is happening. No change. So now, median forecast. That's uh, S&P is down, NASDAQ's down harder. The Russell's not down. Russell looks pretty good. All right, what else? Let's go back to the dot plot. Do you guys know what a dot plot is? A dot plot is a projection of future rates and a projection of future <coughs> inflation. What do they think? So they're claiming that PC inflation is here, but it's going to really drop. Here it is. So they're saying that 2023, the um, Fed funds rate will be at five and a half to five and three quarters. So we're going to see another increase. For next year, most of the people see it coming down five and a quarter to lower. Two people see it higher. And then 2025, 2026, 2027. What's interesting to me is you're in 2025. You're a year and three months out. A year and five months, four months out. And your average here looks like it's still about 3.75%. You're, um, you're not seeing rates come way down. This is the dot plot right here. This is the, this is the money shot. Fed, FOMC, dot plot. All right, the Bloomberg guys are in my ear, are kind of killing me here. Higher for longer. 2024. Rates will not really fall much. Will not fall. Rates, policy rates. Not set to fall right away. Could rise more. 2023, 5.5 to 5.75 is the top. So 
So we could see a rise in November. It's going to take a long time, 2026. Some people say 2025 and 2026. Some see elevated rates still. Wow. So that's what we see. Now, I haven't really been looking at the stock market per se, so this is volatility, that's not helping. Let's take a look here. This is Koi Fin. So you're at 106, stronger dollar. Stronger dollar. Stock market has, does not like the news. Stock market does not like the news. So any questions? Guys, if you're out there, give me a question. Okay. Don't have a question. Um, look at the large caps. Tesla's still up, but we're seeing a uh, a real weakening at the big at the big names. Market is seeing weakening at the big names, large cap. So you can see large cap is weaker performing than medium or small cap. Um, you can see the ten year was at four three six. It's at four three four five. So it's recovered. So bond yields, ten year yields are uh, are coming up. Much higher for longer. Much higher for longer. That's what she's saying. I can't believe it. Um, I'm going to take a look over to the side here on uh, on what I see with stocks. I have a few stocks that I'm personally interested in. Um, just having a little peeky poo here on the side. Weakness. If now's the time to start buying, then now's the time to start buying because I see weakness. Whew. Not down a lot, but down a little. Look at this. Look at this, folks. That's a very large red candle. All right. Markets have not fallen enough that we could really take action on. We're not going to make any trades on it, but uh, wow. Okay. He said something very important. GDP, 2023 growth, 2024 growth, 2025 growth. No one is calling a recession. Looks good. Economy looks strong. This is on a real basis too. So um, the economy is gonna grow. Unemployment will only slightly rise. So what they're doing here is they're keeping rates higher and they're like praying, pray for rain, because they think the economy is still going to grow. Unemployment is still going to be low. Look at these unemployment rates. They, they're they going to 4%, 4 to 4.5, 3.8 to 4.3. It's not... aspirational midpoint of the target range of federal funds rate is three and three eighths to three and five eighths to three and five eighths to three to seven eighths to three and seven eighths to uh, six and an eighth
I'm hearing the word fanciful from Bloomberg. So, all right. So, Fed bankers think the US GDP will continue to grow. Employment will stay strong. Interest rates will plateau, but somehow inflation will fall. And then here's the thing, fanciful, fanciful dreams. Are they looking for a silver bullet? Silver lining? Hope is not a strategy for the Fed OMC, <laughs> except in September, except now. Hope is not a strategy. There it is. All right. So that's it. Um, anyone out there? Any questions? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? No. So. I am looking off screen to see if anything pops. <sighs> Nothing is popping. So they're talking about a 2% real rate of interest. And I'm not sure that that's what I'm seeing here with this. Implementation. Repurchase, 500 million, 500 billion, but at five and a half percent. Reverse repo at 5.3 percent. Counterparty limit of 160 billion a day. Rollover with a limit of 60. Rollover limit of 35. So they're still going to keep um, quantitative tightening. So that hasn't changed. Interest rate on reserve balance is at 5.4%. They t kept the target rate. So nothing really different. Okay. Euro is a 1.63, 4.3, 
six, so we're back. We're back at the 10 year. So interesting. Why does everyone think that the economy is going to continue to grow? I don't know. They're so positive. Volatility is up, but not much. Okay. Looks like it's trying to recover off of that pretty big fall. I did a refresh and I lost it, so take a look. New tech growth, red. It's a Goldilocks projection. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.